just, well, she, I didn't make it. She heard me coming out. Hey, I'm going to turn that waterfall on. So she stays out of there. Alexa, turn the fountain on. Alexa, turn the pool pump on, please. Okay, and there we go. She won't bother it now with the uh, fountain on. So we'll just circumvent that. And here I am with my camera the wrong way again. I'd have to leave it this way because you probably saw what happened in that last damn video when I tried to flip it. The guy on the river and my husband were sideways, but I told you I don't edit any of my films. So that's the way that one came through was sideways. And then I flipped it back around and... Um, I don't remember um, what was going on in that one, but yeah. So I have all my shit done for today. I guess the RV will get done. I don't have the energy to do it today, but I'm going to wait till it gets a little warmer. It's a little chilly out there right now. And uh, it needs to be started up anyhow. Put the slide out. I'll make the bed. I'll at least get that much done. And hopefully wash it. If not, it'll still be there come Monday or Tuesday. It'll be just fine. Because it has to wait on me because I'm the only one that will do it. But we've already been over that before, so there's no need revisiting that. Turned the TV on this morning. Anthony, I think his name is pronounced Tote, Tote, it's spelled, I think, T-O-D-T, -T. Hey, he's been sentenced and all that, but here again, you know, we're giving him his five minutes of fame over and over again, and I think I saw something on, oh, hold on, she wants to, Elaine Warnos also, um, come on, Gracie, come on, come on. Watch your nose, Murray. Yeah, they're back to, you know. I feel like they memorialize these people for some reason. I don't know. They give them way too much attention and fame. And why can't these people that are out there doing the right thing and, you know, being great people and. Why can't they get that kind of fame, you know? What's this? Hmm. I bought this candle. It's cute. It says uh, coffee break on it. I'll start making them as soon as I fire up the vinyl. I was just wondering what the fragrance is supposed to be. I thought it would light it and see. Doesn't do me no good sitting here, does it? I can always refill it. We'll put it back over here and see what it does. Hopefully, cat won't get up here and catch his goddamn tail on fire. Although my cats are real good about staying off of stuff. Um, yesterday, I think it was, Charlie jumped up here. But, you know, having this table here in front of the window where they can get up and look out, that's new to them. So, I'm sure I'll be chasing them off quite a bit. They're so funny. Absolute. They all have their own personalities and their own shit that they do. Eddie sits and just stares and looks around like, like at doors and walk, like there's something there. I truly believe he sees something. Yep. And the only time he wants anything to do with me is in the evening if I sit down on this, the reclining sofa and put my feet up. Or in bed. He's the one I told you has to sleep on my stomach, little fucker. Charlie, his brother that we kept, they were out of the first set of uh, with the feral mom. Charlie's right here. Charlie just lays around and pulls himself around, and he's my big old baby. I love him. I kept him. That's Charlie Weeds, because their mama here. Let me show you their mama if I can, if I can catch her. That's their mama right there. Charlie and Eddie. Okay, that's Charlie and Eddie over there. 
Mama was very feral. That's the one I had told you the neighbor had. She was supposed to be taking care of, you know. Um, I forget what the word is that you use when you take, raise them and then you get them new homes anyhow. Um, fostering. And she left the window open with the screen in it and Mama's feral. So out she went. Guess where she ended up? Over here. So I kept feeding her. And then she came back and got me when she had the baby. So brought all the babies home, raised them. Brandon's got two. I kept two. And I kept Mama. I mean, you know, what am I going to do? She don't know anything. She was brought from like 50 miles away from here is where what she knew. So she likes being in the house. And she'll let me come up near her once in a while. And I might get a little pet, but I don't push it. You know, I just don't. We, gosh. They're going on. Two years old. Yeah. And then Gracie, the little black one with the big mouth. She's a feral mama, but she's lovable. She loves everybody. She loves the dogs. And then um, Emmy. Effie, I call Effie Nini. Effinini is my girl. And then Murray, the great big huge uh, gray cat. All came from Gracie. Why people let that happen, I don't know. But Gracie brought her babies to me at work, you know, so I felt she wanted me to help her. I don't know, you know, it's okay to let your animals, your cats, not dogs so much, but cats out, you know, because cats are cats. But God damn it, fix them. Fix them. Get them their shots. At least a rabies shot. And then they can go out. I have one cat, Barry, wherever he's at. He's the big dark tiger. He's the only one that wants to go outside the pool area. So, you know, he'll come and get me and I'll let him out. He'll go out for a little while and come back in. Uh, but he's fixed. They're fixed. Now I've got Gracie, who's the mommy, um, and Emmy and Effie, her two little girls. They're not fixed yet. All the boys are fixed, though. Those three are not fixed. Which they're getting fixed soon. Um, but anyhow, I would I would die if they got out. I would absolutely die because there's all these unfixed male cats out there. And you know damn well they're going to come home pregnant. So I keep them in. They don't go out. They don't want to go out anyhow. But I always take a head count. I always know where they're at. I always know what they're doing. Um, you know, even when we were camping, I'm messaging my grandson, you know, how are the cats? What are they doing? Where are they at? Uh, you know, because I'm responsible. You know, I chose to keep them. I didn't have to. I could have shuffled them off somewhere, but I'm not that person either. So, yeah, that's how I ended up with all these cats. It was originally one dog, two cats, the turtles. I think my husband started this goddamn mess with Snapper. Because all we had was Junior, the dog, and we had Bo and Barry, the two cats. My husband brought that little shit dog home. That's what started all this. And then when Mama Sue had the babies, I said, I'm keeping Charlie Weeds. He's solid black. The rest of them are that tigery, like I showed you. You saw him in the a minute ago. He's solid black. Doesn't have a white hair on him. So sweet. So mild-mannered. And I told him, I said, you know, the rest of them. And then, of course, Brandon came, picked out two he wanted. And uh, so I was like, well, Eddie, being Eddie, I decided to keep him. So at that point, we we're still okay. We were at five cats. And then here comes Gracie, bringing me her babies at work. And number one, we didn't need any more feral cats at work. And number two, the manager said she was going to kill them anyhow. If I didn't take them home, they were going to kill the mother and the babies. So I called my husband immediately. 
And I said, guess what? I said, this fucking bitch wants to kill Gracie and the babies. I said, no, it's not happening. I said, no, can I bring them home? Absolutely. I brought them home. And, of course, that was only one of many stunts at work. And um, where I was on that fine line of saying, fuck you. And then when the third one came, I'll explain all these things. It, weird. I'm telling you what. If anybody can be around weird shit, it's I just like I fall into it or something. But, yeah, I'll tell you some of the shit that went on over there. You'd be like, huh? And it's still going on. Because I still have friends that stay there, and um, thank God they've all gone home for the summer, so. But, yeah. That could be another episode. But, yeah, that's how I ended up with all of them, and I take care of them. They can't take care of themselves. They can't open up a can of food or tear open the bag or, you know, get their own water. So, somebody has to do it because some jackass didn't fix their animals. But I'm okay. They're all happy and healthy, and it's about time to start running another batch of them to the vet. They go in spurts, you know. I think these babies are... All these babies are going to be a year old pretty soon, the last batch. Mama Sue, it's okay. She's so skittish. She really is. You can tell she sits and watches. And she'll play like a kitten every now and then. But she sits and watches like, I just want to be normal, catty cat, you know. I don't know what kind of treatment she got before I got her. So, you know, here again. I'm just going. So, anyhow, I'm, I'm going to go. I didn't mean to stand up in two videos. Um, I thought I was going to catch her in the pond and turn the fountain on. I caught her last night and I just grabbed the hose and that was hysterical watching her try to get out of there. So anyhow, I think I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to get my car and go somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to go to the beach or if I'm going to go to Ollie's down in, I think it's in Hudson. Next city or two south of here. It's too pretty of a day to stay in. I know I need to do the army. I know that. I know that. But thank God we're not pulling it out, you know, within the next day. I think the 20, 24, something, the last Wednesday of this month, we're going again. And then we'll be home the Sunday before the holiday, so... I have to be home that day anyhow because I am going back to the Webster Market with my friend Laura. We've already paid for it. And... But my husband's off that day, so he's gone with. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but that old fuck should never put his hands on me. Okay. Time to go. Time to quit being a pain in your ass and rambling on about stupid bullshit. But you know what? It's nice to come on here and chitty chat, talk about my feelings, and know at least one person probably listened. That's a plus. Because in a whole room full of people, it, people, if you're the main speaker... Same thing in life. Might be one person that's really hearing you. But y'all know what? I hear y'all. I pay attention. I'm here. And remember, it's all about growing old without growing old. Take care of yourself. Do what you want to do. You know, women um, compliment me on my hair and stuff. And I'll look at I say, you can do it. Oh, I'm too old. No, you're not too old. Most of them are younger than me. I'm like, if that's what you want to do, do it. Do what makes you happy, just so long as you're not hurting anybody else. Do what the hell you want. 
things. I'm sure you're not out there on TV protesting about a bunch of bullshit. You just want to be who you are. Paint them toenails three different colors and put on them. Finger I'm going to put on some fingernails because you see I'm fingernails because I work in the garden and doing dishes and everything too much. So I keep cut off. I might put fingernails on. I can do that. It's Friday night. My husband will probably take me out for dinner. He'll have to because I'm not taking anything out unless he wants leftovers. Here's my little vagabond kitty. Let me see if I can get him on here for you. Do you see him out there? That's Barry. Yeah, he's like my husband. He's the house troublemaker. All right, anyhow, don't forget, you are important. You are special. You are who you are for a reason. And just go with that. Keep moving. Start with them baby steps. That's how we got here in the first place. Start with them baby steps. Move a little bit every day, and before you know it, you'll be going, shit, there was something behind what she was telling me. I know it worked for me. It did. And it's going to continue to work for me because I'm not giving up on me. Don't give up on you. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for stopping by.